It's the San Diego Padres taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set and towing the slab, Logan Webb. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Okay, all set to go. And here is Xander Bogarts. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. There's a swing and a drive. And it's into the bleachers, out of here. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and the Padres take the lead. It's 1-0. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And, you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And first offering is fouled off. White Sox traded Fernando Tatis Jr. To the Padres in 2016 for James Shields and cash considerations. Tatis wondered, is it me? Am I not good enough? Well, Boy, I think it was just a mistake by the Chicago White Sox that they still regret to this day. Sure, he was good enough, and he's proved that when healthy as a big leaguer. Ground ball to the right side. Dives, and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Here's Juan Soto. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. Checks over to first, back safely. Chris, one interesting note, Logan Webb is considered legally blind because of an astigmatism. Causes blurred vision. Yeah, well, you wouldn't oh, be able to tell as dominant as he's been on the mound, that's for sure. Next offering ball. misses, 2 and 0. Oh. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Nobody out, runner at first. Runner! Tatis runs. That's hey. in for a strike. Oops. Safe at second, and that was not close. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. And the 2-2. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh, well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's one he definitely should have laid off of. And now it's Manny Machado. Slings it across. Machado out of the play. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Ha Sung Kim. Hammered down the line, and now maybe extra bases. The run comes in from second. It's 2-0, and that's a two-out double. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared Hold it up on. perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Garrett Cooper stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Close one, doesn't get the call. Two balls, no strikes to count. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Kim headed for the plate. He will score, and they're up by three. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's the third baseman, Matthew Batten. First pitch, and he just misses. Bounce to the left side. That ends the frame. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Padres three, and the Giants coming up. Back here in San Francisco, and on the hill in this one, Matt Waldron. And Chris, pitching on the road, has Leading not been one particularly one. kind to him. Third base yeah, and you don't want to be too J. quick J. to J. say J. that he can't J. pitch J. on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. In the air out to center, Azokar moving under it. Brings it in, and there's one down. Batting second. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Yastrzemski. Foul ball there. Next offering is downstairs. The why to kick the pitch. And that one upstairs. High chopper to third. He beats it out, and the tapper turns into an infield single. And it looks like they might end up challenging this one. Very close play, and we will take another look as well. I couldn't tell in live action, that's for sure. And, you know, the umpire is so much closer to the play. So they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Another look at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Out. In there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Ball Just one. misses with that one. one ball, it's a good take. Two strikes. Hard hit, right side. Gathers Got and it. throws to first. That is the inning. Giants go down quietly. They trail it here, three nothing. Pitcher on here, Tristan Beck. He's pitching on two days rest. Now at the plate, Jose Azokar. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball.
Here's your one. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Fires to first. Easy. And quickly one away in the second. Next for the Padres, Brett Sullivan. The catcher, Brett, Brett Sullivan. Sullivan. In the air, left side. Conforto under it. Hauls it in for the out. So the lineup flips over. It's Xander Bogarts now. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. And he swings and misses oh, and at one. the initial offering. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Strike oh, two. two. Well, this guy on the mound understands that this batter is trying to take him deep. I think the key here is change speeds. Keep him off balance. Out towards left center. Conforto on the move to the alley. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Padres three and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park, here's the veteran outfielder, Jock Peterson. Waldron back to work. That yeah. one's in there. Strike one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. And there's a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The 0-2. And that it's one is ball inside one. ball one. Got it by him for the K. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Hey. That's in there. That's strike one. and deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And a pitch. And oh, ball what? one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Soto gets under it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Michael Conforto will climb in. That's in for a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Hey. That clips the zone, and that is strike two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. They trail in this one, 3-0. And welcome back. All we set for the start of the game. inning. Now it's the Fernando right Tatis, Jr. Fernando Junior. Tatis Jr. Back, back to work. Back. Oh. In his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Ripped on a line. Conforto makes the play. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats that's where you have to remind out. yourself the it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Peterson drifts towards it. Squeezes it. 
two up two down it's a little drop and drive on that swing backside collapsing just a little bit Man trying to put the ball in the air fought off foul the pitch oh that pitch is out This one grounded to Davis. Fires across oh. the diamond. Machado out of the play. And that'll do it. Three up, three down for San Diego. But they lead it 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now Marco Luciano. Not shortstop. The line of the pitch. Luciano. And fouled off. The 0 1. Hey, hey. Got him looking. Knuckler faded to the outside corner for called strike three. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. That's in there, and that is strike one. Left field, and he can't oh, quite get ball. there. It's a foul ball. The 0-2. And he beats oh, he the did. throw very close right there. Tough play on a nice forehand stop. Had to be perfect right there with the exchange and throw to get the out. But looked like he had to dig into the glove a little bit more to get a good grip. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. One down. Austin Slater stands in. There's a strike. Oh, one's the count. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Oh, and two now. And that one gets down, fair ball. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Everything came together for him. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now mound visit coming, and with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. Now it's J.D. Davis, and there's the strike. Well, all oh, eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Going two to Davis. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Tatis drifts towards it, and there's two down. So they're down to their the final out. Now the number two hitter, Mike Yastrzemski, reached on an infield single his first time. They say it went. All ones the count. Ball one ball. there. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. First and second, two down. Next offering is fouled back. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two on, two outs. 
Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. This is just a nice win. Three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you score, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.